welcome uh, to the social network this Christmas Eve and today we're going to be talking about what appears to be a changing trend and possibly the trend of the future. Is 2014 going to be the election year of digital democracy? There seems to be an increasing focus and particularly after the success that we've seen in Delhi of the Aam Aadmi Party. Is there a look at new and modern models of reaching out to a certain section of voters? What does it mean for those voters who can't access it? We're going to be talking about that, but when we're talking about Aam Aadmi Party and we're talking about those nearly 100,000 SMSs which were sent out, we were talking about their Twitter interactions, we were talking about a very savvy media cell. We also need to take a look at the way they're using videos as a reach out. Videos on YouTube which are accessible, which are simple and clearly are sending out a message that was usually left to us, the television networks, to do. Let's take a look at their latest one before we start our discussion. अगर हम सरकार ना बनाएं तो बीजेपी वाले कहते हैं कि जिम्मेदारी से भाग रहे हैं। सरकार बनाएं तो कहते हैं कांग्रेस की बीटी में। Joining us now, our guests, we've got with us Sunil Singh, member IT cell of the BJP. We've got Ankur Shivastav, a member of the social media cell of the Aam Aadmi Party. And we've got Sanjay Kumar, professor CSDS, with us. Ankur, let me start off with you in the wake of that video. Ever since the inception of the Aam Aadmi Party, and it's not been that long, it's been seen, it's been perceived as a urban-based, social media accessible, innovative party. Do you think that that image which has brought you so much success in the capital which will probably bring you a certain degree of success in other urban centers could limit you in other parts of the country these youtube videos will be watched by me will be watched by a lot of people in places where they have internet what about the rest sure so um let me start off with the perception that we are an urban um, uh, urban political party and that's not true because uh, we have had huge success in the not so urban uh, areas as well. With regards to social media, uh, yes, we are you know early embracers, and we realize that this is going to be that extra channel that gives us the five or ten percent boost. Uh, we've seen it uh, happen in Delhi. We were fairly clear: if you're not strong on the ground, there's only this much social media can do. It cannot win you an election. It can get you that extra zing. But you have to have a fundamental ground, you know, presence for it to have any any kind of success, and that's really the model that we're trying to bank on as we expand into other cities and states of the country. Well, we get back to the other cities and states part in a moment. Uh, let me just take that to Sunil. You know, Ankur was saying there significantly that if you already have a strong base, you can build on that. Now, for the BJP, we. You know, the strong base already exists. But the focus, it seems right now, I mean, Narendra Modi, the BJP's prime ministerial candidate himself, has been on social media very strongly. And clearly, now in the next five months or so to the elections, that's something that you are looking at very seriously embracing. No, the social media is a, a platform which you can't ignore. And BJP is working on it for the last three, four years. Note that we have started it now. And others people are trying to catch up. Find AAP has done certainly well in Delhi. That's the thing too. But India is a diversified country. And you, so if you start from the word go now, I don't think it will be possible to cater the entire India. And we have got an NG, we have got our research, and research, research on what, how many seats will be impacting, which are the seats which will have the higher impact of social media, lower and middle <coughs> impact also. So we have diversified accordingly. 
Right. You know, we'll, we'll come back to that kind of diversification. But Sanjay, you know, uh, we just heard Sunil talk about essentially, you know, which seats will be impacted, which seats won't. And that really does come down to the crux of the debate. In your opinion, how much does social media actually impact voting See, first, patterns? let me clarify. Uh, the studies which we have conducted at CSD, it clearly indicates that people who are very, very active on social media, large number of them actually voted for BJP in Delhi. It's not the Aam Aadmi Party they have voted for. The Aam Aadmi Party is getting equal number of votes among the two ends of voters. People who are very, very active, active on social media and on the, on the other end who are not at all concerned with social media. And the kind right. of sizable... 10% of the people would fall in the category of very active on social media and 60% are in the category <coughs> of people who don't access social mm -hmm. media. So this, this is almost a myth that Aam Aadmi Party has been successful only because of social media. As Ankur was oh, saying. I'm not saying they've been successful. I'm saying that they're very savvy. They've set up a social media model which is being looked at very carefully. Uh, this gives you a little edge in contesting election because all parties have to adopt traditional methods of campaign. There is no escape from that. You have to do door-to-door -to -door campaign. And as leaders of Aam Aadmi Party would tell you, they also realized that they started with social media campaign. But later on, <coughs> as they moved on cl coming closer right. to election, they knew that this is not the this is not the only tool to win election and that is why they also adopted two traditional modes of campaign so social media gives you an edge but it's not a match winner in this kind of an election right um Ankur, if, <coughs> you know uh, the amani party website uh, that we've all sort of looked at very carefully is in a sense a more accessible website than a lot of the other political party websites, particularly your donation page, which is very upfront, very clear. Uh, the, the receipts are given, the tax deductions are given, everything is online. You think that is also something, that's something which sends out the message of what you're trying to be on the larger cyber forum? Absolutely, and there was a lot of thought that, would put, that was put in designing the website. It's not it's, uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be lying if I were to say it's the greatest website on the planet. But yes, you know, in the limited time we had, we wanted to put something out there which is easy and accessible, just like you said. We looked at certain campaigns that were done world over, and we wanted our call to action to be very simple. So donation, if you'll see the right buttons on the blue, you know, clearly call out what we want you to do, how you can help Aam Aadmi Party. And that's, you know, a lot of thought and design that's gone into it. Um, and so, yes, you know, we're fairly happy that we were able to collect all our donations and funding and volunteers and everything else that's happened predominantly online. Right. Uh, is that a model, uh, Sunil, <coughs> that will also be looked at by the larger parties? Do you think that it, it, it needs now at this point for voters, you know, we were talking about a time when we were looking at moving to sort of e-banking and things like that, just put everything up there for those who want to use them. See, it depends. Yeah. I told you, it's not that key, only their website is quite easy to access and donate over there. I donated BJP to quite a few of times, so it's quite easy to donate <coughs> over there also. It's not that it's not, not accessible, or it's hard to donate. <coughs> and we have got even some check parameters so mm -hmm. that we don't get any more funding and any wrong funding. In case of the NRI funding, which there was an issue in the Amadi party. Right. So we have got several checks over there so that we don't get a funding which we should not be getting. Right. And get it, get it, it gets rejected on the trot. And at that time, a verification. Mm -hmm. So, and for me, it's very simple. And it's not about taking donations. It talking, it's about taking donations from the right people so that we don't fall into some something, some trap like something like that. So, checks and balances is very important then, Sunil, yeah. on social media because the chance of misuse of social media is also very large. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I agree. Now, so, so, you know, when we talk about all of these and we, you know, if we look at which social media websites are making a difference, what would your studies say? I mean, we talk about, you know, the Twitter is buzzing. We talk about, you know, people are blogging about it. Which social media websites actually influence patterns? No, there are various social media, but I think the difference which Aam Aadmi Party is uh, my website has made it, it is about transparency. It's not about design. It's not about people who actually access internet or Twitter or Facebook. They have voted for uh, Aam Aadmi Party in large number. The difference it is making, the Aam Aadmi Party is making, it is about transparency. You put it everything on the website because that is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. People, everybody can't come to your office to ask for papers. But if you put it things on the website, and that has made a lot of difference for Aam Aadmi Party. 
creating an image that this is a party with a difference and that has helped. So, social media that way has helped the party, not in influencing voters or swaying voters from one party to the Aam Admi Party <coughs> side. Okay, Ankur, let's go back to uh, the first sort of uh, point of discussion which had come up, which is what happens now that uh, very clearly the stated purpose of the Aam Admi Party is to go national. How, uh, how as somebody who works for the social media team of the party, uh, is the way that you approach social media going to stay the same or is it going to change? Well, <coughs> there, there are multiple models to consider. There is the centralized model uh, where there is an apex of the pyramid and then that's basically controlling all functions. And then there is the federal model where every state, every district, every city has its own presence. There are merits and demerits of each model which we are studying carefully, right? So that's one. Our approach largely uh, remains same. Why? Because we've tasted some success and there's no point changing, you know, a winning team as they say. Mm -hmm. Uh, but with multiple states coming in and different flavors, like you know, you'll have to go multilingual. You'll have to do things like that. Our options will, our, our approach will change essentially a little bit. So we'll have to tweak it a little. We're studying different models. Uh, you yeah. know, we're starting to work towards.